Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to User One Productions. My name is David, and welcome to the second tutorial on how to make a Slenderman clone inside of Unity. As always, my friends, if you come to enjoy this video and want to see more like it, please remember to drop me a like and subscribe if you're new. And per usual, on the Google Drive linked in the description, I have every model, sound effect, script, everything that I use on this channel for the tutorial series is linked on there for a free download. And if you guys have a problem with anything, or you want to show off your work, or have another game developer to talk to, we have a Discord server where you guys can do that. The link to that is also in the description. We have hundreds of talented game developers, always willing to help if I'm not available at the time. With all that being said, my friends, we're going to jump into the tutorial, which is going to be picking up pages for our Slenderman clone. So here we are inside of Unity, inside the little test scene that we created in the first episode. If you guys did not see the first episode, I highly recommend you go watch that first because we are using systems from that first video uh, in this tutorial in order for it to work properly. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is actually add a game object 3D cube and we're just gonna use this as a test for right now for the uh, page game object. So let's rename that cube to page test. On that game object in the box collider, we wanna make sure it is a trigger. And from the file inside of the Google Drive, which is again free to download, Slender Tutorial 2, we're gonna go into the scripts folder and find collect pages. We're gonna click and drag that onto the page test. And we're actually gonna open up that script real quick to see how it works. So right up here, we have a reference to collect text, which is gonna be a game object. So we're gonna have a text indicator for uh, like E to pick up or something like that. We then have an audio source for collecting the page, the private game object, which is just going to reference the game object that this script is attached to, and a private bool to tell if we're in reach or not. So let's go to the start function. Right off the bat, we want the text to be set to false because we are not in reach of that specific page at the time. And because we're not in reach of that page, we want to make sure in reach is false. And then we just identify page is this dot game object meaning whatever this script is attached to is going to be the page. And then we have a void on trigger enter and exit. On the enter function, we want to make sure that if our reach tool touches this game object, in reach is true, and then our collect text gets displayed on the screen. And then in our update function, if we are in reach, and then we press down our pickup button, which we have to set up in the player preferences, the collect sound effect plays, we make sure to turn the text off, and then we make the page turn off as well so it's no longer in the scene. Which, now that I think of it, we also want to make sure that in reach becomes false too. Because we're no longer in reach of that object because it no longer exists. This will be fixed in your script as soon as you download it. But that's a little mistake on my part that I just realized. And it's going to be fixed for when you guys download it. Going back into Unity, let's go to page test. So we have a collect text and a sound effect. So what we're going to do is open up our player. From the sounds category that we made last tutorial, let's grab one of the sound effects, say the flashlight, and just duplicate it, and rename it to page collect, and then go to your Slender Tutorial 2 uh, folder and go to sounds. Collect page is going to go on the page collect game object right there. So then in our actual box that we're making as our page, we can go page collect to page collect sound right there. And now we just need to add the text object. So let's go into our HUD, right click that and go UI text. Let's make our game view a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on here. And I'm going to make sure that it says collect page. Or you can say let's do pick up instead. Let's do pick up. Let's make sure the text is big. So let's do like 30. And then we want to make sure that the width and the height is big enough that our text still displays because right now it's outside of the actual box it can fit in. So let's do a width. I'm going to do 1920 just because that's the full length of the screen I am using and it's a very um, native number to use. And then the height I'm just going to do to 100. And now let's go down to the alignment, make sure it's centered. And then I'm actually going to double tap it so we can actually go into the actual canvas in the sky here. I'm going to bring it just below my uh, crosshair here. And then I'm actually going to add a different font to it because we're making a slender clone. Can't just use Arial. Obviously, it needs to look kind of spooky. So let's go back to our slender tutorial inside the UI. Click your text and click and drag horror text into the font. As you can see, it got a little smaller because this font 
is different than Arial. So let's go, uh, let's go 40 and then just align that to where you want it to be. I'm going to rename the text to pickup and then I'm going to duplicate that and call this the input. I'm going to make this text red, bring it a little bit lower than the pickup like this. And then I'm going to do a bracket and I'm going to put whatever I'm going to be using for my input in capital. So I'm going to be using E. So I'll do capital E and then an end bracket. So it looks like that pick up and then your input. And I'll actually make that font a little bit smaller than the actual text like this it makes it look a little cleaner. We're going to put the input inside pick up. And now when we look at the page object, it'll turn off or on depending if we're looking at it or not. So let's leave it on for now. Go to the page test and bring that text object into collect text. Awesome. So the last thing we need to do is actually go edit project settings, add more inputs. If you need to, it's going to duplicate the last one that you have and just open it up, name it, pick up exactly how it's typed in the script. So it's all lowercase. And then the positive button is going to be whatever button you're using for uh, picking stuff up, which mine is E just cause I find that very easy to use. And F is already taken by our flashlight. Let's exit that and actually maximize on play and test this out. So right now we are not looking at it. We're not in range. But if we walk over to it and we look at it, pick up E and we press E, plays the page sound. And now we have collected the page. It's no longer in the scene. We cannot pick it up twice and it is picked up. Everything is set. So now what we actually need to do is I have inside the Slenderman tutorial two a game object for the page. But since we're just using the unity cube, what we can do is go to our materials and I have every page in here for you guys to use. So let's do uh, the first one, bring that in. And then I can just scale this down to kind of shape a page. And now we have a slender man page upside down, obviously, <laughs> and then we can collect it and it plays the sound effect. Nice. And I'm actually going to rename from page desk to page zero one. You can have as many pages as you want. And I'm just going to start lining them up on this wall here for tutorial sake. So let's bring it up here. We'll duplicate it. Rename that to page two. And now when I play the game, I have all eight pages sitting right here. They can all be picked up. The flashlight works excellently so I can actually see them. <laughs> and as you can see, as I'm looking through, the text will disappear. So let's pick them all up and they all work. Can't double collect them after they've disappeared, which is awesome. So that's going to be the end of this tutorial, my friends. I know it was a little short, but in the third tutorial, we're going to be actually adding a little UI component that is going to be counting the pages for us. We're going to go in and edit the page script so that way it counts plus one every single time we pick one up so we know what page we're on. As always, my friends, if you did enjoy today's video, please remember to drop me a like and subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord, and I will catch you all in the third tutorial coming soon. For now, this is User1 Productions signing off. Peace.